All right, everybody, what's going on? Hope everyone's doing well. Had a great weekend, and I'm working on the Ibanez S series, so let's get into it and get it finished up. So everything that I've done with this thing, basically, uh, fret leveling, crowning, polishing, oil the fretboard, um, replaced the two pickup rings here, replaced the knobs, replaced the whole bridge because of the whole bridge was basically moving around on me when uh, when I ended up setting it up with the uh, old one. So this is the one I got from Reverb, including this bracket right here, the black bracket where the bar is uh, pushing up against the tremolo over here, the, the block over here. I replaced that bar. That fit in there just perfect so I can use the original assembly without having to cut a wheel hole on the top over here. So what this thing came with is still what it has. And I love these bridges. These, this, this tremolo stabilizer system that Ibanez came out with is not a bad deal. And what I like about it is, is that you know you're resting up against this bar and basically what you're doing is you want to get this thing to where it's resting when you tighten up your strings to get them in tune you want to make sure that this is resting up against that bar and not moving the bar and by adjusting your springs here your, your this setting right here which is an allen screw compared to the roller which is on some of the newer guitars have got the, the roller system on it now and this here works out just as good. Um, it's very simple to use. As long as you be careful, you don't strip out that hole, which I don't see why you would be, you would strip that hole out because this kind of like floats. It's, it's not something that you have to lock down. Um, it'll pull your strings or, or re put some relief on your strings to get yourself where you need to be over here and still have tuning stability on the front. Let's go over the pickup height here. 332s, 332, let's see, I think there's this one here, nope, not that one, so basically it's, it's all set at 332s, all the way down. Yeah, they're all set at 332. So what I'm going to do is when I plug it in, um, I got to blend them. All right. And when I mean blending them, I have to go through the switches here and see if the 
uh, bridge pickup is louder than say the neck pickup and I have to adjust it to where they both have about the same volume without having to adjust the volume and keep on switching back and forth to make sure that everything is equal with each other one's not louder than the other all right so what I'm doing right now is I want to use a clean guitar tone to kind of see what the output of these pickups are going to be like if I'm going to have to either raise or lower any of these pickups to get the sound to the volume basically to be more equal with each other. First off, I want to tune the guitar. So I'm going to go to the tuner and make sure this is still in tune. Sounds like it is to me. So what I'm going to do is start off with the bridge pickup and then I'm going to go to the neck pickup and see if there's any difference in the sound. Now I've got two sets of meters here, one that's on the program and another that is on the UX2 as well. So what I want to do is basically hold down these strings here and I want to see what the low E sounds like with the bridge pickup and watch it on the meter to see where it's peaking at and where it kind of uh, resonates at a little bit, where it kind of hangs around before the, um, uh, the, the vibration of the string starts to slow down more. All right, so that is the bridge. Kind of hanging around the same. All right. Trying to make sure I pick basically. Uh, the same each time. So it seems like that the bridge and the neck seem to be okay. Let's hear what the center pickup sounds like. It's a little bit a little bit quieter. It's on the uh, it's a single coil so I don't think it sounds that bad. Let's see what uh, bridge sounds like with a little bit of a metal sound. All right, now I did pick up something, and EJ uh, guitars ended up uh, basically kind of sent him a message about this and asking him what the hell did he have wrapped around his uh, first fret at the neck and basically it is something that you can dampen the strings a little bit to cut out unwanted uh, like overtones or whatever and uh, I've been using it a little bit and actually it's it's kind of nice uh, if you're playing guitar and you notice that you're getting a lot of either sounds that are unwanted or anything you kind of put this around top of your fret without putting without fretting okay so you don't want to put a lot of pressure at the first fret and what's nice about this is you can get a nice kind of like a palm muting and you can kind of beat on the guitar a little bit to while you're playing and not get any overtones from other strings See, 
I haven't done this in a while. Let's see if I can still remember how to do it. <laughs> Boy, it's been a long time since I've been like actually practicing or playing guitar. And you can ask my friends that too, because they uh <laughs> they know it. But anyways, seems like no funny noises with the volume. A little bit of a scratchy spot on the tone, but I think if I barely hear it. I think if I work that tone a little bit, it'll end up going away. So yeah, um, Liking it, liking it a lot, and uh, we'll see what I'm going to do with this. I don't know yet. Don't know if maybe I'll have maybe have it in a contest one day. Who knows? But uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Something like that. I'll get it one day. Anyways, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this kind of helps you out with a little bit of a setup. I can set them up, but I can't play them with this yet. And I'm not afraid to say it. So, yeah, if you don't want any unwanted overtones in your uh, playing, you know, like uh, maybe a, a string might ring out a little bit while you're playing or something, uh, or you want to get a, a better mute, even for tapping, these work pretty good. You can put them anywhere on, on the neck you want to, and uh, yeah. No more unwanted overtones. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching and uh, appreciate it. Take care.